What is up guys, it's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. Today I got a really cool used laptop. It is the Dell Inspirion 11 inch 3000 series 2-in-1 tablet and a laptop. Very, very cool um, laptop that you can make it good for 2021. In my opinion guys, it's gonna be a good laptop. It's gonna be a good video, stay tuned. Um, but first, I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in, liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the love and support, guys. You guys are awesome. I'm only trying to help make videos on some valued items, some used items, some new items. Uh, I like to do review videos on all these and just bring you guys some information. I, I purchase everything myself, and uh, I just try to bring you guys information on the item from you know an easy to digest review, basic, simple, easy. And then hopefully you guys can make decisions on that item in the future if you guys are interested. So thank you guys so much. And uh, just thank you guys. So let's get into the video. I have a lot of information I want to put out, a lot of ideas and, and topics. So let's get into this Dell Inspirion 11 inch 3000 series 2-in-1, guys. So it is 11.6 uh, inch screen is what you're going to get in there. The laptop itself is only eight inches height and 11 inches length it's like 11 and 3 eighths and then from corner to corner it's 14 inches the screen itself because it's kind of blacked out on the edges is only 11.6 guys so it's a very very portable small laptop and that's kind of one of the reasons why i wanted to pick it up uh, not only is it a laptop but it's a tablet with a touch screen so that's excellent the only thing that i think can really rival it is a Surface Pro or even an older Surface Pro uh, because I did have a Surface Pro for DJing uh, but it was uh, kind of cumbersome because you'd have to bring a, not only the Surface Pro but a dock and you know extra things to plug it in and uh, you'd have to put it all together and it did work and it was very portable and simple but you know it was a couple a couple, a couple step process and this being all in one a laptop and a tablet you don't have to worry about bringing extra docks or that thing so you can have extra connections. Uh, it does make it very useful for that. But I think it also could be useful for anybody that needed a solid laptop that is upgradable, guys. So if you're a, you know, an occasional gamer, uh, you like to watch videos, uh, you just use it for normal use, you can pick this up really good and it can be a little powerhouse for you. Now, it probably is not going to be good for video editing or picture editing just because of the screen is not very very high definition um, it's only a, a 13 by 66 by 768 IPS HD uh, display uh, which is not a full HD like 1080 display so the quality of the display is not that great for uh, video editing or picture editing but if you wanted to dabble in some light use with it I definitely think it could handle it I just you wouldn't get the picture quality that you want looking at the screen though so uh, but it's definitely an overall use inexpensive laptop that you can pick up and upgrade to what you need now like I said I'm gonna use it for DJ purposes so I really wanted to make a portable laptop think about it uh, with this tablet format that you can just set it down sits up on its own and you can put a controller in front of it and go to town you know so very easy all I gotta do is hook up my speakers and I'm good to go for a very, very mobile unit, okay? So that is very, very good. So I picked this up for $150, and the only reason I even picked it up for $150 is because it had already had an upgraded SSD hard drive in it. Unfortunately, that hard drive was faulty when I got the computer, and I ended up having to replace it anyways. But if you didn't buy it with an already upgraded hard drive, you can easily pick these laptops up used on eBay for $50. $50. Uh, which is fantastic but you will have to do some upgrading you'll probably have to put it'll probably be missing parts it'll be missing a hard drive some ram maybe an operating system but those are all very easy things to overcome and to fix and so you can get this laptop and build it for under 200 dollars now with my build i was right at 250 dollars where i kind of wanted to be anyways uh, but i probably could uh, the only thing I probably would have changed is I might have upgraded for another $30 uh, to a one terabyte uh, hard drive, which would have been awesome. And it still would have been an SSD as well, which would have been fantastic. But to keep it under my 250 price range that I had marked for myself, I only put a 500 gig PNY 
uh, hard drive in it, which was I did a video on, so check that video out as well if you guys want to figure out how to do that. But I did that as well, and it worked out very, very good. And like I said, the only reason I had to do that is because the other one was very faulty and died on me after, you know, I let the computer run for a long time. So other than that, um, the computer itself works very, very good. We'll show you everything on the laptop. Uh, it's a shiny screen. It's not the matte. It's shiny. Uh, but it is very, very sturdy. It feels like it'd take a beating. Those hinges are very, very thick and nice. Very, very basic on the... Uh, design but you know simple um, the bottom very very simple has about 12 screws and then the whole bottom panel pops off and you have very very easy access to everything down there so very upgradable and I'm gonna keep saying that the whole time because that's a very very positive on this laptop how easy it is to get to the parts and including the battery the hard drive and the RAM memory so which is probably the only things I would really mess with now uh, the keyboard is nice very nice you know it's not a full standard keyboard but it does work very nice you can see my hands there and then the mouse pad itself worked very very good no problems there so I do like that I do like that it has actually uh, three USB ports uh, which is very very good so you got one on this side right here and this is a 2.0 you're gonna have a standard SD card slot uh, I have a micro in there right now uh, with an adapter and it's working quite great um, this is the speaker right here this is a volume level so when you're in tablet mode you can easily adjust the volume and then the power button right here on the side on the other side you're gonna have two more uh, USB ports one is fast 3.0 and one is a 2.0 um, this is a 3.5 millimeter jack for your speakers or headphones and then this is a power for your power brick or power adapter but it is nice that it has an HDMI uh, standard port right there so you can easily hook it up to a TV or an extra monitor for video DJs or things like that very very cool there um, like I said very simplistic easy design uh, I do like the screen though um, um, and we'll fire it up here in a second and I'll show you that um, here's what the power brick looks like it does have the uh, three prong right there uh, but you know not huge power brick and then it has the uh, end here that does have a little light on it uh, right there and uh, you'll be able to see when that's on so very very cool there so when these first came out in 2014 they actually had pretty good specs they had two to four gigs of RAM memory and for a tablet that's fantastic for a computer is a little light but uh, for a tablet that's fantastic and it had 500 gigs of uh, HDD hard drive memory which is actually pretty good for a ta any tablet try to find a tablet out there with that much um, besides like a Surface Pro or something like that and so that was very very cool back in the day so that's why I really think it can be upgraded to today very easily because I went to the store and looked at uh, laptops in this size at the 11.6 um, or 11 inch screen size um, laptop size and you're not going to find what you can do to this in those laptops and most of them will be Chromebooks as well so you can't even use DJ software on a Chromebook so having a Windows computer is going to be very valuable for all the extra apps and things that you can do with a Windows computer compared to a Chromebook unfortunately right now to this date so um, very very cool there so um, let's get into all the specs that we have now okay so like I said they came out with two to four gigs 500 gig um, RAM memory it's still like the display is a little weak like I said at the 13.6 uh, it's, it's basically 720p HD um, so like I said you're not gonna be able to do very good photo editing or video editing uh, but you could dabble in some light use if you wanted to uh, light use gaming as well because the graphics aren't going to be that fantastic but it does have a graphics card uh, the CPU is a uh, basically a Pentium uh, N3530 um, with the four core so you know pretty decent there uh, for a simple uh, like I said tablet slash laptop that it is um, 
but like I said, it can be upgraded. So it's pretty much the most important specs there. Like I said, 11.6 IPS HD display, which is 720p. And, but like I said, it can be upgraded. And I did notice snappy um, feedback when I did upgrade it, okay? So I will fire it up just so you can kind of see the fire up time. And just press the little button on the side and it's gonna fire up. And we'll let this go in the background. You can kind of see how that works. And we'll, I'll just keep talking about the upgrade. So. When I did get this laptop, it had a 128 uh, SSD and it had the um, four gigs of RAM. Now I had, uh, so it was kind of pretty standard as a computer. So I thought I would bump it up to eight gigs of RAM and a 500 gig SSD. And the only reason I did the SSD is because like I said, the other hard drive failed anyway. So uh, I did upgrade it. And so even with that upgrade, that was only about $80 of upgrades. Uh, the PNY, uh, which I have a video on, check that out, was only $50, fantastic. Uh, I would recommend that to anybody as an upgrade to any of your computers that you have at home if you, if you are able and capable of doing it. And then I upgraded to eight gigs of RAM, which is the highest you can upgrade this to um, with that Pentium um, CPU. So, and I used a Time Tech high uh 8 gig ddr uh, ddr3 type uh, ram and that was only 33 dollars so like i said so you know you're right around 80 dollars there uh, of upgrades so not very very crazy now if you were to pick up one of these for 50 dollars off ebay and it was missing some parts like a hard drive uh, your ram memory it's only an extra 80 dollars you're going to spend there and then if you maybe needed a Windows uh, 10 uh, disk and key, you can pick those up for around $40 on eBay. So you're still in that 120 range uh, at, and you only spent $50 on the laptop. So you're still under $200, guys. So that's why I think it's fantastic to go ahead and pick these up and just upgrade the parts that you needed. Um, some of them might need some battery work. A battery will cost you around $40. Um, and so you're still under that, uh, you know, $200 uh, or $250 range. And see if you can pick up any kind of laptop with 8 gigs of RAM, 500 gig SSD for under $250. I really have a hard time finding that you're going to be able to find that, uh, that acts as a tablet and a laptop. So, you know, I just think this is a great value that can be used in 2021 still. And let's talk about the performance with DJ equipment, if you guys are the DJs out there. Um, like I said, this is very, very portable. Um, you can see that it is responsive, the keypad works. I'm not gonna go ahead and sign into it or anything, but you can just see how quick that fired up. And it's very, very easy. Well, here, I'll, I'll drop this down and I'll get into my system here. Uh, I'm gonna no thanks that and get into it. And you know, there's my DJ laptop right there. And you know, I can fire up things pretty fast. Now you can see the display isn't the best graphics, but still looks pretty pretty good. Uh, I do like, the only one issue that I have with this laptop is uh, the brightness. It seems a little bit dark. Even when you're in a dark room, The you can't really, I wish it was a little bit brighter screen, but other than that, pretty good. Now I think I have it at its full brightness right now. Yes, I have it at the full brightness right now. And to me, it just seems a little dark compared to other computers, but you know, I can live with it. It's not, it's nothing crazy. So that would probably be my one gripe with the computer is the brightness of the screen. Other than that, um, of course, having a 1080 screen would be better, but you gotta remember that this is a 2016 computer that came out in 2014. Um, so it's definitely older technology and that type of thing. But like I said, I still think it's pretty relevant today because uh, there's still some laptops that come out today with the same 720p uh, for the price point. So um, now a lot of people don't recommend those because like I said, they're not full HD, but it still looks pretty decent. And like I said, when I was watching movies and videos, it still looks pretty good. Um, other than that, guys, we'll do my basic overview and positives and negatives, guys. So. Positives, guys, for sure, is price point and value. The way you can upgrade this is fantastic, and you can still probably come out with a solid laptop. Like I said, I gave you like the best, like 
uh, you know, if you get an SSD card uh, for uh, a 500 gig for $50, that's a good value. If you can get a the 8 gig uh, RAM for f around $40, great value. And then, like I said, it's still going to keep you under that mark, and you're going to be able to upgrade this laptop. And you're going to keep it under that $250 mark. Uh, than going and buying a brand new laptop that's a Chromebook and you can't even use it for DJing. So, like I said, uh, I think the upgradability of this laptop and making it relevant in 2021 is its best positive. And like I said, you can still find these on eBay a lot of the time and they might be missing some things, but I'm telling you how easy it is to go ahead and upgrade these and get these up and running again. So, very, very cool there. Uh, the speakers are actually pretty good as well. That's another positive. Keyboard is decent, mouse pad is decent. Um, another, uh, so, you know, my two gripes, of course, the screen, the brightness of the screen and the 720p aspect of it is probably some negatives, uh, but nothing that isn't, uh, you know, not doable. Uh, especially a DJ, you don't need special graphics for, you know, most DJ uh, software. Uh, the only thing you would need a little extra graphics for is for running it to. A video monitor if you run music videos but I did do it and it did work uh, pretty decently so that was okay guys so that's cool and then um, you know uh, battery worked pretty good I can get some decent battery life out of it charger works good so like I said so uh, a lot of more positives and negatives uh, other than the if the big screen issue bothers you on um, you know the brightness and the quality of the HD you know the 720p instead of 1080 okay if that bothers you then this isn't for you but like I said it doesn't really bother me uh, uh, too bad guys so another thing so let's talk about the DJ aspect of it uh, I use this with virtual DJ and tractor and it worked very very good I had no issues the only thing is maybe when I was using DVS or you know digital vinyl things like a rain 12 I noticed a little flaw in the uh, maybe little glitches on the software but not on the sound the sound always sounded good but maybe a little glitches on like the actual software when you're scratching or doing things like that um, if you're not scratching if you're just using a normal controller and not like a DVS or record players or things like that uh, digital vinyl uh, if you're not doing things like that a regular controller worked fantastic no issue especially when I upgraded from 4 gigs to 8 gigs of memory um, there was a significant change in performance and I never was bogging down any of the CPU or anything like that with the software working with the computer so definitely something to take in mind there uh, but this thing works very very good and like I said the only reason I haven't tested Serato with it is because I can't uh, move Serato from my other laptop to this one without buying another one and I'm not going to do that. So uh, that's the only problem with Serato is you can't throw it in a, a lot of different things and they always want more money, more money. So I, I didn't get to test Serato on this, but I did test um, some DVS systems from DJ, uh, uh, Virtual DJ and Tractor with this and it worked fine, especially with a normal controller. DVS, like I said, may be a little glitchy with records and scratching, but acceptable and you could get it done okay guys so uh, I think I got everything out there I'm so excited to bring you this video guys hopefully it was good hopefully you can take an old laptop refresh refurbish it a little bit and make it yours and I think you'd have a nice little performing 11 inch laptop that's very portable uh, very cool and would still work for 2021 and you'd get it uh, relatively inexpensive so Thank you guys so much for tuning in, guys. I think I got all the information I wanted out there. I'll leave all the extras, uh, upgrades, and everything that I did to this in the links and descriptions. Also, check out the PNY upgrade video I did on the hard drive. And I think that's it. So this has been the Dell Inspirion 11.6-inch 3000 series 2-in-1 tablet slash laptop. Uh, I think it'd be a good little investment if you guys want a decent uh, older laptop that will perform for 2021. Check you guys later. DJ Martini, Midwest Reviews. More videos to come, check you guys later.